elegance, you know, and smooth. Wow, I love it. I want to take you guys through the journey that I had from right from the beginning. I just got so swept up with the boards. So like, oh, and then I was like, I'm giving them my liquid yet. That's the finish of the sake, which gives it a lovely, smooth, creamy finish that you don't get with most gins. There was only one spirit of choice, and that was Geneva. All right. All right. I could see some reaction sometimes, um, but it was not a no, no. I, I couldn't read what I mostly can as a bartender. I want to bring women into this category. I've taken the smokiness of whiskey and mixed it with the juiciness of blackberries. You still get those whiskey notes, but you still get that sweetness. This went so well, so well. Now I'm just like, yeah, done. <coughs> After four incredibly creative presentations and much deliberation from the judges. I like uh, a lot of the bottle. I think it is perfect. I think that's probably the most accomplished. Well, this is me. The Show Your Spirit champion was chosen. Nothing we have a winner. She made it work with tonic, she made it work with a martini. That will work for consumers. Yet it's still interesting enough for bartenders all over the world. How would you explain it with words what it feels like to have your dream come true? It's unreal. Congratulations, Dee Davis with Jinzu. last Monday to here, being in Madrid. Um, tell us a little bit about the journey, and particularly about the family of people that you worked with, some of whom are here tonight, and of course, the other finalists that you worked with. Yeah, so um, I got the opportunity to work with not only three of the best bartenders I've ever met in my, in my time as a bartender, but a fantastic team. They just threw all these brilliant people at us. Um, Hence why we came out with four such fantastic liquids, really. And, and a little bit about Jinzu, because I think one of the things that was very compelling being there on the day was all the liquids were good, but then you stepped forward and told us the story of Jinzu, the shape of the bottle, the design of the bottle, and what it means, and Sakura. Yes, yeah, so um, for those of you that don't know, uh, Jinzu is a gin with a heart of sake with both English and Japanese botanicals. So that was something that I was really trying to portray through the liquid, through the pack. Hence, I don't really got a picture of the bottle. That kind of um, rather wonderful shape that looks like a branch and sort of traditional Japanese calligraphy is actually... Yeah, so the cherry blossom branch is actually the Jinzu River, which runs through Japan. Um, and the calligraphy is the word Jinzu. 
written by my lovely friend Yuki back in Bristol. <laughs> so, um, oh, what it was wonderful was the, the flavour profile as well. So you have the sake heart, the cherry blossom, and the classic gin botanicals that we are used to. Um, and there's one last thing that we are going to do with your product before it actually reaches the shelves and the back bars and every world-class bar around the world. We're taking your liquid onto a certain ship, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> um, so the very first use um, of Jinzu is going to be this year in our final on our cruise ship in one challenge. And no, I'm not going to tell you which challenge we're going to throw it into at the last minute just to try and mess with your minds. But we're going to be giving you the task of working with Jinzu, this incredible spirit. And for me, if anything can show the dedication, craft, and commitment to our trade, it show your spirit and its first wonderful, worthy winner, D-Days.